All right. <clears throat> I like to give disclaimers on when topics might be a little bit more advanced than, than others, and I will say this is kind of one of those back-end, uh, you know, processes that might be really, really advanced for newer volunteers, and it is the routing system. So I'll click this routing button right here, and if you can see this, there are a whole lot of uh, lines, uh, you know, groups, and a very, very you know, kind of simplified version of this is here is your inputs. It says home. These are your inputs that you'll be editing. Uh, the next page is outputs. And uh, these are your outputs that you can edit. So say you want, um, and these are physical outputs, by the way. So they're physical outputs as um, like outputs 15, 16 are your stereo left, right, uh, outputs, your mains. Um, auxiliaries are maybe if you had uh, gear, like a recording um, piece of equipment in your rack, the amplifier rack down underneath the uh, you know, counter, uh, this is how you would send or signals to that piece of gear uh, using the auxiliary outputs. Um, most of the time you'll probably never use this in case, or unless you got some sort of gear um, external equipment uh, you wanted to use, like a reverb unit, but I mean, the, then again, those are expensive and everything you probably will ever need is inside the console uh, in, the, in the effects, you know, processing. Um, next page is the P16 output, and I'll be making a whole video uh, in itself just on the, uh, the monitoring system, the P16 uh, outputs. Um, so I'll cover that very, very, you know, in, in more detail than I will in this video. The card outputs, um, right now the card that comes stock with uh, the Behringer X32 is the USB uh, card. You can see that right in there somewhere. The USB card is primarily used for recording, and I actually did that to uh, be able to play back some you know, recordings from a practice, and that's very, very useful for maybe a virtual sound check. Let's say um, if you wanted to get here before the worship team does on a Sunday mor Sunday morning, you can do a virtual sound check from the previous practice, just so you can get an, I an idea of what you know where the volumes should be set, and uh, it allows you to do work without relying on the volunteers from the worship team to be here. So that's basically what the card is, and these are card outputs, um, which, be which basically means that it'll be sending out. Uh, on the outputs from the card, one through eight, you can choose where you want to be sending that from. Right now, everything on the board is local because you're using the actual physical outputs on the back of the board. And that'll probably never need to be re reset unless you do end up getting a piece of gear uh, called the Behringer S16 or maybe S32 uh, digital snake, a stage box. Um, but for the time being, I think you'll probably be fine just leaving these where they are. Uh, if you did get a, a, a new stage box, that is what the AES50 page will be doing. That'll be able to edit uh, where those come from and where they go. Uh, these are actually outputs. Um, so you have outputs 1 through 48. Then AES50B is just another duplicate page of the AES50A. Then XLR out are the actual uh, physical outputs on this console. Um, I, I believe they're set up right now, so you have um, signal going to your uh, to your uh, speakers, and that's about it. So there there isn't really any other routing going on um, for the outputs, other than what you've got going to your speakers. So I, I know that's kind of that was a kind of an overview. Um, I will go into more detail in the next video on the P16 because this is something you will probably be editing over time if you wanted to you know, add another channel to the board uh, and you also want to send it to the monitor system. So let's get started on that.